Hi right, guys, welcome to this uh, newly installed system. It's for the, it's with the ISO of uh, nine days. From now, this will be on the servers. So October release, and it happens to be the Xen mods. And there is a question online about what if, what if I want to install Pinocchio, which is just a name. But the question is, what if I want to install something that's not on the AOR, right? That's the problem always. The AOR is super, but if nobody already made something, yeah, right? Pinocchio, let's see if we can find it. It's on GitHub where the information is. It's an AI browser. I don't know what it is, what it's for. I would like to investigate the possibility, right? So we install a run and control AI or terminal apps, bots on your computer with one click, all good and all fine, you have a look. I'm only interested in what if something is not on AOR. You have a look at the project. You find out if it's possible to install it on Linux. You find out if there is something you can install that Arch understands. Now, there are two things we're probably gonna work. That's this one is number two and this one is number one so an app image is something that's more or less well linux uh, should work on any linux distribution right because it's large let's take a look at it it's all packaged in one particular file and there you go we have this and it has no executable so we'd say a shmod plus x, we make it executable. Voila, ll, it's green. Now I can say, go for Pinocchio app image. And then you have the application, whatever it's for, I don't know what it's for, but there you go. You, the system will run it. And then if you look further, it's gonna do all kinds of things. There's a folder here. Pinocchio, Bin, C, Python things. He's busy, right? Decompressing. So that's one of the things you can do. There's something you need to figure out. So libva um, is one of the things you just look up. Uh, not that one. That you look up. There are some libva things on our system. You see? There is this one, Intel driver, missile driver, utilities, VD power driver. So whatever you need, you need maybe to install something more. I'm on an NVIDIA machine now with NVIDIA TKMS. So might be the reason. Anyway, um, have a look, right? If this is, well, he says success. I don't know what's supposed to happen, but yeah, we can run it. That's one thing. The other thing might be possible. That's the second step you could take. And let's have a look at the Debian, not DMG, that's for Mac. And all the others, Windows and so on. No, but this one, AMD64, that is something I could download as well. And if you look at the control T and you type in aliases, um, probably not that one particularly. Uh, let's see if there is X, I think we have an extract but we don't see it in the list of the aliases i thought so so if you have the home control h go to the bash rc or the zshrc and open it up control find it's actually at the bottom so scrolling down somewhere here x extractor for all kinds of archives tar bz2 and all the list but also debian dep so I've got something to extract. I've downloaded something in my download. I've got this one that works. And by the way, we have here now Pinocchio folder. Yeah. Um, so the downloads, we have this dep, right mouse click, open terminal, X, this thing. We get this. X this thing again go inside the 
Well, we're, we're good. We're good where we are. X data tar XZ, and we get this. The opt is where it should go. The folder opt. So we need to copy paste this one to the opt, and this one to user share application doc. And that's just just the launcher, right? Some documentations and some icons. But this is the real thing. This is the application and this is probably how you launch it so if i can copy paste everything from here to there in the right places let's see yep they're green right you can execute them so i could probably let's see execute this from here as well and uh, i don't know what i should do i found there are lots of things here I should, should be able to click and install. That's up to you to discover what Pinocchio is all about. But we can have a code, go type, copy and so on. Or you can say, I'm gonna take the file system. I'm gonna open the folder as root. I'm gonna become root. I'm gonna see that in the blue warning up there. Okay, fine. And this one, opt user, I just drop it here. What happened? Yeah, Pinocchio is here, right? Pinocchio is here. And what happened? I have here something called Pinocchio. Nice icon, doesn't matter as long as it works. So that's the second way of installing things. And this is probably not the best way at all, depending on, well, dependencies, right? There's nothing really defined and pacman is going to build everything in a certain environment in a shrewd environment and gonna install dependencies have no clue what dependencies this thing needs so it's basically just a dump of code hoping that whatever it needs <laughs> it has already in here which is most of the case with these opt things these these things that go inside opt you see discord git ahead google leave here sublime text Vivaldi, stuff like that they tend to have more or less what they need but nevertheless right think about dependencies if you get stuck because that's not covered with pacman with aur yay Peru, that is covered all right that's it for now have fun exploring things that are not even in pacman not even in articles not even in AOR and try to play with it. Cheers.